Hello everybody. In this video I thought it might be cool to take a look at at this little thing um, that I got. Well, I say little. It's kind of a kind of a larger piece of equipment. Uh, but I got this down the street from my house at a uh, garage sale uh, a couple months back. And it's kind of just been sitting around ever since. And I thought, hey, it might be a cool time to pop it out and take a look at it. Um, this is a Sharp uh, 1978 uh, Trimate and the model on this thing is a 3 3T-59 and it's kind of a it's an AM FM uh, tape and as you can see television all in one uh, the television has VHF and UHF tuning uh, which you know as we know is no longer no longer uh, functioning but uh, you can still actually hook this up to um, uh, to some kind of signal and, and get a picture off the thing. Everything on this works perfectly. I didn't have to do anything to it except uh, a lot of cleaning. Um, cleaned out the uh, tape heads and pinch roller, cap stand, all that kind of stuff um, as usual. Um, the pots were fairly dirty and uh, I just worked those quite a while and, and got those all kind of cleaned up. Uh, just from working them. It, it, I think this thing had, hadn't been used in probably years uh, before I got it. Uh, but yeah, a uh, really cool unit. And uh, we're going to just kind of take a look at the thing. Extremely sensitive tuner. Um, let's let's try out the tuner. Let's see here. Let's put it on, up on. This is the mode switch. We have tape, sleep, uh, which I think allows you to uh, program this thing coming on at a certain time. But I haven't figured out how to use that. And then we have TV radio. Here's our volume, treble, bass, and mix balance. And this mix balance allows you to uh, mix between the, a source signal and a microphone signal. So you can actually record two things at once onto your tape, which is kind of cool. has what I think is an 8 inch speaker on the top and a, and a small tweeter here. Get a little better look at that. Here's our contrast and brightness for our TV. Uh, this button when you push this down it actually turns the, a little light on here so you can see your, um, your AM FM tuning, tuning. If it's dark Great sounding little system. I don't want to get a copyright strike for that, but let's turn that down. Try some other uh, stations. Uh, nice little, nice little tuning meter there. Let you know when you're good and tuned in. And bitters are a reflection of that. They're kind of the, the salt, if you will, of a cocktail. So. Eli's in the uh, higher teens, like 16, 17. Slide all of that. Yeah, the the modern country stations always come in really well. And these pop stations. They want to make sure everybody hears that shit. Let 
But yeah, there's a FM. Let's turn it to AM. Tuesday. Paid for by the Meeks Election Committee, Reginald Meeks Treasurer and Grandpa. This is State Senator Gerald oh! Neal. And everybody's got the band. Are seeing election year exhaustion. Geico presents a voicemail from your friend, Electricity. Hey, it's me, Electricity. Get it? <laughs> the confused little cells in your intestine the other side. That's where we pick up verse 22. Middle of the road and saying, you know what? I don't mind. No risk. No reward. Let's see what we can do. Or There's a push it all station. on the table. We don't mind. Right. I, we got it. Right? So you'll have a number. So what if he just does your... goes out there. He's in the film room. He's studying. He's always in his head getting, figuring things out. I'm a big fan. But yeah, that, anyway, that's the uh, AM FM tuners. Let's go switch over down to TV. And you, can, you should be able to see here any second that this thing actually does work and get a raster going. If I were to hook a signal up to that, I would be able to uh, watch TV on it, watch videos or whatever. Play video games. Uh, we have controls over here on the side for vertical hold and horizontal hold. Um, we have UHF and VHF uh, inputs for antenna. Uh, it uses this internal or you can hook up to external uh, antennas as well. And this is how you would inject your signal. Um, let's look at the back of this thing real quick. You can see here manufactured in August of 1978 in Japan model 3T59 made in Tosh uh, what is that Toshigi Japan sharp electronics so yeah a very cool piece that actually I got this thing for I bought it I ended up paying them giving them some money because they said they were going to um, they were going to give the proceeds of their garage sale, whatever they made on it, they were going to, because they were moving anyway, so they were going to give it to like a veteran's charity. So I went ahead and just gave them um, five bucks for it, but they were going to give it to me at first. <laughs> I said, nah, I'll pay something for it. Um, but yeah, let's check out the tape real quick. Uh, the tape, the only thing I don't like about this, the tape, the tape pop, kind of pops up. Uh, really fast when you hit the eject button, so it's kind of clunky. Uh, but it's very well put together. You can tell it's nicely made. I don't think there's any danger of anything getting broken. But here we'll listen to something I've taped off of radio last night. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Put it on tape. That would help. Over here on the other side of the unit, we have uh, inputs for a microphone, a remote, which I assume, I'm not sure exactly what that allows you to control. Um, you have an auxiliary input, which is cool. You have a monitor, output, headphone jack. Um, let's see, what is this? I'm not exactly sure what that beat is. 
I'll have to look that up. I'll put a note up on the screen when I figure that out. Um, here's an on-off power switch um, on the side in addition to the, all of the on-off switches on the front. So you can actually shut off the power supply completely by turning it off on the side. Uh, we have an AC input. We also have an input for um, for DC power. But yeah, just to demonstrate the light on the AM FM, uh, you press this button up here on top and the little light comes on allowing you to see in the dark, which is kind of handy. The only thing I don't like about it is you have to hold this down to keep the light on. I guess they did that to conserve battery when you're using a battery power. This unit will also run on nine D cell batteries. There's a battery door on the back you can remove and the D cells fit right in there. And maybe the coolest feature of all in this unit is when you're ready to uh, to go somewhere with it, uh, you just fold out the handle, which is right now stowed away on the bottom, into this position, and now you've got now you've got a boom box that you can carry with you. So very cool unit. So yeah, that's a 1978 Sharp TriMate. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already done so, please hit subscribe below. And for now, you all take care. A diamond mail, tis with the flow, to pass the